we had a couple of absolute wars tonight. I bet you had some fun back there making decisions. Yeah, it was almost almost a perfect night. Uh, let's start with the first fight. Um, Oliveira absolutely picked him apart, then delivered one of the nastiest knockouts of the season. He's 19 and three with 14 knockouts, two subs. He's 27 years old. He's one of these guys that I feel like, uh, you know, we can put in big fights right away. Um, yeah, hey, kid, you better be watching SportsCenter tomorrow. I bet you're going to be on it. That was an incredible. You're going to be one of the top 10 plays tomorrow for sure. Welcome to the UFC. Vinicius de Oliveira, welcome to the UFC. All right. The ladies fight. So, you know, I, I loved... And I, and I, I want to say this to you, and when I say this to you, I mean it with all due respect. I mean this in a respectful way. Guys look like two dudes and they're fighting, and like you guys are, are two of the best stand-up fighters in the world, and you came in and, and decided you were not going to grapple or do anything, you were just going to throw. It was incredible. I mean that with all due respect. And um, this is one of those fights that literally from the minute that the ref said, go, you two both went and did not stop until the fight was over. Um, and in my opinion, there was no loser in this fight. I'm bringing you both into the UFC. Wow. Ernesta Karatskada and Carly Judiz, welcome to the UFC. All right, so after talking about these ladies fighting, imagine being Danny and Angel sitting in the back watching that and going, holy shit. now we gotta go out there and deliver. And uh, they're both in the hospital. And, and here's the yeah, they're both in the hospital right now, and that's exactly where they both should be. Um, this was one of those fights. It's like the two women. You you can have the best trainers in the world, and they can teach you all kinds of things. You you can't teach that dog. You either have that dog inside you, or you do not. Both of the women had it, and both of these guys had it. When I went back to talk to Angel after the fight, he was crying. And he said, I wanted to win this fight so bad, and I wanted to be in the UFC so bad. And I told the kid, we're going to give you your win money, but this is all I have to say about this fight. If you both want to be in the UFC that bad, I will oblige you. You are both getting contracts with the UFC. Angel Pacheco and Danny Selva, welcome to the UFC. All right, now this next fight, the heavyweights. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything. So that's where I'm going to go with this. Moving on. Everything about this fight sucked, including the refing, and uh, that's all I'm going to say about that fight. Um, the main event. <laughs> Thank God for the left hand of God after watching the fight before that, okay? First of all, you are an explode. First, you're wild. Yeah, you, you, st you still got some control issues. You got some things you got to dial in. You're a young dude. You know what I mean? You are a freak athlete you can just tell from watching you speed power explosiveness accuracy backflips what can't you do kid i'm excited to see what's next get your ass over here you're in the ufc danny barlow welcome to the ufc dana i obviously watch a ton of film in anticipation of all of these seasons so i'm very familiar with the the growth of the the type of fighter that we're getting. And time and time again, I see these organizations like LFA, like CFFFC, it feels like they are getting them more and more ready for opportunities like this. How important are those organizations to the overall ecosystem of the UFC? Well, it's huge. That's why we've made a bit, you know, when you think of UFC Fight Pass, it's an investment in, in those organizations, uh, the, you know, the smaller up and coming uh, fighters. And you see it, I, I thought that there was gonna be a huge gap in talent because of COVID, but that really hasn't happened. It's been, uh, I've been pleasantly surprised at, at the level of talent that we have out there right now and how much we have. Agreed. Battle tested. Dana, thank you so much. You. Vinicius Oliveira, welcome to the UFC. What does it mean to you to achieve what I know has been a lifelong dream for you? It's been my dream come true. As I said before, I've been training for a long time for these moments and I can't sleep around to thinking about my dream. And I know uh, this fight it changed my life, my whole life from here. Again. Now I will be a father. Yes. 
and my my son you'll be proud of me and my whole family for me I'm I inspired for all people all kids of my hood and now um, I'm sure see how um, that everyone who have a dream don't believe in his dream because if I can everybody can no better time than when you have a baby on the way. Congratulations. I know you put that Bantamweight division on notice. Ernesto, welcome to the UFC. How cool was it to sit there and hear Dana White just go on and on and, I mean, give you a very high compliment. Couple of dudes out there. Um, it really means a lot. Like, you know, you visualize everything, you dream about it, and that moment comes, and it's amazing, just amazing. What do you feel like you can bring to this UFC flyweight division? I will be the next champion in the UFC and you will represent Lithuania so well. Congratulations, go enjoy that contract. Well, King of Memphis and the UFC's newest welterweight right here. How's that feel? I feel good, I feel good, I feel good. I feel wonderful, I feel wonderful. I can't even explain it right now. I don't think I can say is my all glory to God, all glory to my Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. I never changed, that's one thing I never changed about my process and that's, that's hey, and it's still evident right now that that's the truth. So yeah, I don't really know how I feel right now, but it's, hey, it's an amazing feeling for sure. You've worked so hard to get to this point and all of the adversity that you've faced throughout your entire life to get here, to get the UFC contract, man. What an incredible moment. And what do you think that division is going to, how are they going to deal with that left hand? I know, they're going to have some problems for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We already know that, man. It was the hardest fight. Really, actually, this was the hardest fight, man. Me fighting another brother from Memphis, man. It took a lot of things out of my moral compass. And like I said, I had to like just close a lot of doors uh, to my feelings and emotions for this fight. Uh, I fight anybody now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 170s, uh, yeah, they got, they got a real problem, you know what I'm saying, coming for sure. We already know that. Memphis got a new fighter in the UFC. Congratulations. Yeah. Go enjoy that contract.